after you receive the mini type laser machine, first you need to uh, install uh, the uh, lifting pillar. Here have the four screw, and also here have the screw here. You need to fix the little parts on the left tube pillar. Okay, you can find the USB drive and the key around the little height. Okay, now we need to connect the laser machine and the computer. It must be Windows. 7, 8, and 10. Now we fan out the USB cable. This is the USB cable. One end to the cabinet. The other end need to connect with your computer. Okay, now we need to fan out the EasyCat drive. Now you can find the U flash drive here. Take it out and connect it with your computer. The EasyCat program will be in this U flash drive. Okay, open computer. Another line is the main power line. This is the main power line. Connect with the electric. Okay, two lines connect. When you install the Easy Cat Drive, first you need to make sure the laser machine already open. This is emergency button. Make sure it's already pulled out. You can see if you pull it down, it will uh, cut the electric. You need rotary and pull out. Okay, and this is the leader button. Okay, now we need to open the U flash drive. Okay, after finished 
uh, install the uh, easy cat drive and we need to, to open this default open this one find easy cad2 find this document and click the right click the mouse send to desktop okay now we close it now we can see the easy cat already uh, uh, on the uh, laptop we need to double click it to open now we can use the easy cat now okay let's start the easy cat software double click easy cat key Now we open it and first I will show you how to make the simple numbers or letters marking. Click this button, draw text, then put mouse here. Here now we can input any letters, numbers or symbols. Let's make program first. Apply button. You can see we can make it large. And also we can set the size here. We can set maybe 40. Then apply. The size is 40 and 6.7. Uh, make sure this button, if this button like this, when you change one size, the another will be not changed. If you apply, click apply button, you can see the letter will be like this. So, first, we need to click this button first. Let's back. Okay. And click this button first. Then set the size is maybe 30. Apply. This button is in the center. We need to put the letter in the center maybe. Here, you can choose the font. For example, we choose this one maybe. After choose it, we need also apply, uh, click the apply button. You can see the letters change. Also, you can change to others. This one is better, I think. Apply. Okay. Here you can large it. Check it. You can see this is only the outer line of the letters. If you mark him, it will be only the lines. I will show you how to mark him, okay. Uh, before marking, uh, be remem to be remember, remove the cover on the little hat. Okay, you can find uh, um, any metal seat. If not, you can use the practice cart. This is the aluminum seat. You can put uh, the metal seat under the little hat. Okay, under the little hat. And you can find the two dots. Uh, 
uh, do you remember the laser machine will be do the engraving work um, uh, only laser on the focus? So first, before engraving, we need to find focus first. Now we need to rotate the hand wheel in the top of the left lint pillar. If you rotate it, you can see the little head is up down, the two dots will come together. That means only the two dots together, the laser will be on the focus, okay? This is the engraving on this cut. If we engraving on the uh, USB cable, maybe. If we, we want to engrave in here, we also need to keep the uh, uh, two dots together. So continue rotating it. Now two dots together, the laser is on the focus. This is just for an for an example. So we will test on this this. Uh, test seat. Uh, we need to find the uh, focus first. Make two dots together. Rotary. Till the two dots together. Okay. Okay, now we need to uh, click the light button. You can see, you can see the red indicator. If you want to see the uh, square, you need to click here. Now stop. Here is the show, the counter. After you remove this one, light button. You can see, you can see the square. Okay, now stop. Uh, when you marking, uh, make sure that uh, this is continue uh, remove. Choose this one, mark select. Okay, now we need to, to change the speed power. Uh, click here. Maybe first we, we can use the uh, 1500 speed. And the power, we maybe use the small one, we can use maybe 30. Use the keyboard, 30. And the frequency, the frequency, if you, your machine is fixed, uh, 50 watts, uh, here we need to um, set the 50, it will be better. Okay. In normal time, the frequency mostly keep it to 50 watts, okay? No need to change it. What you need to do is change the speed and the power. Sometimes sometime the VOB change the high touch. I will show you uh, this function later. First, we need to um, click the red, uh, light button. See the square, okay? Then stop. Click mark button. You can see here already marking. You can see you. Uh, it's only show you the um, outer line of the 